welcome to the first official tech slam of Draper. I am very excited. If anyone's ever heard or seen a Google slam, I went to the G Summit in Gilderland, I believe, a couple years ago, and they have something called a Google slam. And I kind of took that idea um, as being a teacher, a first grade teacher, and molded it into my own. And so I'm going to try to copy them as best as I could, uh, but ideally, Instead of one person up here, you would see two, three, four people, and they would each present one thing instead today to show what it's all about. I'm going to do all the presenting. So, the very first thing that I wanted to show is my website, which is mrvaca.com. And when you go to mrvaca.com, you are going to see... This site, I have it linked to a free Google site, and I bought the domain mrvaca.com. Uh, I think it's like $25 a year. And then I have it forwarded to this site, which is the Google site that we use here at school. And I've just created everything that I do for instructional technology. So officially, if you haven't seen me or met me before, hi, I'm Bill Vaca. I am a former first grade teacher of seven years at Scotia Glenville. That was fantastic. And then this is now my second year as an administrator. I am a half-time assistant principal at Brought, and then a half-time instructional technology administrators, straighter grade K through 12. So what that means is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm at Brought until 12.30, and then I do my instructional tech work. And then Tuesday, Thursday, schedule's flipped. I'm doing instructional tech until 12.30 and then brought in the afternoon. So, you are officially the first Draper staff to hear this announcement, and I need your help to spread that announcement. If you have any tech questions, whether um, it's with your teaching, like how do I use a program, how do I get my accounts working, um, I'm in charge of IXL this year, I'm helping out with Star 360, I ran the Bright Bites, thank you so much for helping with the Bright Bites this year, you guys I think are the number one participating uh, staff, which is awesome. Um, so anything, I'm a level two certified Google teacher, so if it's anything Google related, um, but honestly, I'm not as nearly smart as some of the people in this room with Google and like the things that you can do, especially with Classroom, it's really, really amazing. So uh, some of you have already heard, you see my weird tripod and phone. I'm recording me, not recording you, but if by accident you get somehow in here and you don't want to be a part of it, I'll make sure that you're blurred out. The reason I'm doing this is so if I talk about something quickly, which I tend to do, hi, I have ADHD, very fast, but that's what Tech Slam's all about, you are going to be like, oh, I remember he said that, and it was like halfway through. I'm gonna have this linked to the Tech Slam, which is what I'm gonna show you next. On mrbaka.com, you go up here at the top, you hit Tech Slam, and here's what we have today. This is the agenda, which I'm now talking about, mrbaka.com. And then I have some videos down here about the three apps I'm going to show. And then once I'm done, I'm going to upload this video, try and make it look nice below, so that you can always come back and refer to it. Uh, if you can't read this, then there is this little share button right here, and it's the open document. So if you click that, it should open it up in a brand new tab. If you can't do that, that means I didn't share it properly. Let me know and I should fix it. Um, let's see. Any questions so far? Cool. So again, the Tech Slam is supposed to be about two to three minutes per topic. And today I have three different topics. One is a URL shortener. So has anyone ever heard of Bitly? Cool, great. Um, if you wanted to share like that Google Doc, this instructional technology, uh, this is the site, it's a lot to remember, and if I wanted to share that and you wanted to put it up on the board and say everyone go to this website, it's really hard for you to write everything out, but we'll talk about how you can make that shorter later. The second thing that we're going to talk about is a QR generator. Raise your hand if you have a QR scanner on your phone. Okay. Raise your hand if you have no idea what a QR scanner or code is. Raise your hand if you know or have a generator. Awesome. And then last but not least, this I used as a first grade teacher more than anything. And I want to share it with you guys. You probably have a different way of doing it. Um, 
but for me it was just really cool is how to take a piece of paper and turn it into a PDF real fast. Uh, then I have some bonus hacks, and if you've been to one of my performances <laughs> last year, I like to end with some hacks that you can get around some annoying things that make your life easier, and then we'll end with a slam summary questions and free choice. But any other questions, we'll officially get this slam started. <laughs> no, okay, first up, awesome. I'm going to start with bit.ly.com. Now, if you've got, you're on the website, you just gotta scroll down here and click bit.ly.com. And it's going to take you to this site that allows you to Take a link, so if I were to go to nintendo.com and then go within here like some random page and then another random page, you know, this, just an example, I don't want this long link in there. I copied it, pasted it, and it automatically turned it into a bit.ly and then it gives you this code. So basically, the only thing that you really have to write, because it's very easy to remember, bit.ly, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. And you'll have like maybe a Google Doc or a National Geographic video that you don't remember exactly how you got there because you took like 20 different clicks within the site and you got to this thing. I mean, there's many different ways to share that video. But if you just want to put a quick link up for parents or anyone to do to, to visit, you just take copy that web address of the long website, paste it in here, and it'll automatically make your bit.ly this short thing. You can then write it out, copy it, paste it, do whatever you want, and text slam one done. Okay. <laughs> Any questions before we move on to number two? Cool. Uh, you'll see a little trend with number two. It's also about trying to make things easier. This makes life a little bit more fun in the classroom. A QR generator. Let me start off with what is a QR code? You see this uh, three dot square shape? Um, I see, I think, I think that's like a little person with one eye like a cyclops doing a dance right here. I, that's just how I interpret it. Um, so that is what you would call a QR code, and a QR code is like a magic picture that can take you to many cool places. For example, you could link it to a website, you could link it to a video, you could link it to a picture, you could link it to your favorite meme, you could link it to a sound file, you could link it to anything you want. Now where have I seen this in use in school? When I was at Burt Hills High School, there was a um, group of students that made a scavenger hunt for throughout the entire high school and it, all the directions were just a picture of a code posted on a wall. And then their kid had to take their phone, scan it, read the directions because it was a Google Doc that it was scanned and then it would pop up immediately on their phone and they had to read the directions and go to the new thing and it was so exciting the kids were so hooked. Now in my classroom, I had kids that had an iPad but couldn't type in a web address, couldn't do anything like that, but they're really good at opening an app, just a simple click. And in here, QR generator, this is not the scanning side, this is you creating it. I think every iPad comes with it automatically, but if not, just download QR scanner. It's a free app, it's totally nothing hard to learn, it's just a camera and it says, show the QR code, it does it and it automatically will send you to wherever it goes. So for first graders, I had math centers and I had specific directions for what to do in that math center. Some of them can't read. They're just learning how to read. So what I did is I made a little video on what the directions were step by step and then like a little model and then the final product. So what they would do is they would take their iPad that was at that station they knew how to open the app, they would scan the code, and that video would automatically pop up and they would listen with their friends and know what to do, and that took a huge chunk off my plate as a teacher. So, how do you make these QR codes? That's what Slam 2 is! The QR generator! If you go to the website, www.theqrcodegenerator.com, great website name, seriously. They will send or give you this option to do a free text, a URL, which is a website, 
a contact, like someone's phone number, a specific phone number or a text message. I have not done any of these three. I've done these two. So you could say, um, here's a, a free text thing. I hid three Dunkin' Donuts gift cards under your seats. Seriously, you should check, check it, it out doing it. now. Doing it. <laughs> so, if you have a phone scanner, <laughs> oh, I can't use mine. I'm recording myself. Hi. Um, you can scan this, and on your phone, it will then pop up this message, like, immediately. Has anyone found them? Oh, what, did I say chair? I meant desk. That's different. Sorry about that. <laughs> ah. I think it's a lie. You found one, really? I really found one. Found one. How exciting! Watch it be like right first. You're not a very good looker. Oh, oh it's taped, it's taped down there pretty good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so thank you for coming. That's your participation thank number you, one. Yeah. You're welcome. It's only five bucks. Nothing. <laughs> so, I'll give you some if you also wanted to, um, what I like to do, how do you get, this is my favorite thing, how do you get this QR code to my Google Doc or to whatever I want to do? That was Lisa Cutting's first question. Well, there's this button right here, save. If you click it, you can say, I want to call it Duncan Gift card. I want to save it as a PNG. I don't even know what these two are. Anyone know? I have no idea. But a PNG is good for me. So I hit save and it's downloading it right here. You can open it. It's in your photos. Save it directly to your photos. If you click this little arrow, you can show it in the folder. Where did that go? Oh, whatever. I'll just open my folders. I'm just gonna search right here, Duncan. Ah. Wonder where it disappeared to. Yeah, see, that's what I feel like happens with a lot of stuff that like goes somewhere. And you never know where to So it, there's right? a downloads folder, and it's right there, but it said that it went to something called, what is it, photos? I don't know. So what I like to do is, this is my help bar, this is not on the slam, so pay attention on the video if you want to learn how to do this, and it's not on the thing. Okay, so I didn't have Google Chrome down here. This is your toolbar, and to add things to your toolbar is, makes your life so much easier. Uh, when you download something off the internet, it automatically sends it to your download folder. Your download folder is if you click this icon right here, downloads is right there. I'm just gonna take this download icon, drag it and drop it to my toolbar. Oh, come on. I guess I lied. It's automatically this icon. You can't do a secondary like download folder. I think to your toolbar, but let me see. Okay, you can make a shortcut. So if you click this right here, you can then see the downloads. And if you click the downloads, you should be able to drop it onto your desktop. Chromebooks, different story. Is that still the same? Will that work? You don't have to answer that question, sorry. Uh, as you know, or have not known, but have now seen, I like to go off on tangents. I don't mean to, so feel free to yell at me and say, Bill, get back on track. Because we are at 1020. And I guess it's okay. Last but not least, Cam Scanner and Turbo Scan. That is an app. Cam Scanner is available on iOS devices and um, Android. Turbo Scan I use on my iPhone, and it is the best if you're an iPhone user and used to Apple products. But they both do the same thing. Now, let's say right here, this worksheet. 
You only have the paper copy. You do not have an online digital form that you could manipulate, that you could then write on the board a math problem. The one way that I've seen a lot of people do it here is that they use the photocopier or the scanner and they send it to them through an email. And while that's awesome, there's an easier way if you're fat and lazy like me and you wanna sit at your seat, you don't even have to get up. All you have to do if you have your phone is you download one of these free apps, you take a picture of it through the app, you can trim it, and it automatically will let you go to whatever email you want, to your Google Drive, you can share it easily. And it could take me 20 minutes just to show you how to do that, but if you would like to know more or get a guide on how to do it, if you go to the TechSlam website right here, mrvaca.com, there's a little YouTube video right here. There's also the website that will give you tutorials on how to do all of it, give you ideas. But most importantly, if you want someone in person like me, because I'm not the best of learning online, I need a physical person to talk to me, that's what I'm here for. Please don't hesitate to hit me up, give me a call, say, Bill, come to my room, this is what I'm free, I have a question, I want, you to, I want you to show me how to do this again. I've loved doing that so far, teaching people how to make a Google site. I've learned that I gotta sit on my hands, I'm not allowed to touch your mouse or keyboard, I have to use my voice only to direct you how to do things so that you um, learn a little bit easier. But it's a learning experience for me, I love learning and seeing what you're doing because honestly, as a few of you already know, I learn probably more from you than what I'm gonna teach you in some way or some form. And if I don't know the answer, that's very motivating for me to go and see like what I can do to help solve that question. Um, that's the end of the three slams. Are there any questions before I show you the bonus hacks? No, okay, bonus hack number one. Who here has a personal device that uses Mahanison BYOD network, wireless network? No. I, will, I, I can still. I can get on it. Yeah, it's yeah. on it. Yeah. Why don't you use it? Because it's, it's just, watching. It says it's not secure. All the time you get a pop-up, not secure, not secure, every time you touch it. Okay. It's nothing to do with access to what you can't get on, right? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. <laughs> then this hack really isn't applicable to anybody in here. So I'm going to kind of skip over it. Basically, it's... Like myself, I like to upload photos to either the drive or something of that nature, and I want to use my phone where I have it, and I don't want to use my data. I want to use the school's Wi-Fi, so I don't want to you know, waste my money. And so I get on there, and then there's certain sites like Facebook or Twitter, but Google works, but other, other things can't, they get blocked. There's a website that you can go into and sign into, and then everything pretty much is opened up as a teacher. And it's not an illegal thing like, I've no, checked. Like, no, like trust wow. me, I could they'll they'll still block me from like specific sites and people just don't know about this access code. So if anyone comes up to you and says, I can't access Facebook, I can't ever use the internet, now you know there's a way around it, just ask me and I will show them how to do that. Um, the other hack is not so much applicable now, but definitely in the winter after January, unannounced observations. Oh. With um, Google Calendar. Who here uses Google Calendar at any way, shape, or form? Okay, well, if you were to look at the administrative team, every single one of us uses it for our lives. Like, that is our lifeline to figuring out what we're doing that day. So, you can set up events, look at events that we have set up, our secretaries have set up, and if you go to, I'll just kind of walk you through over here, your Google Drive, the waffle iron of Google Apps, you'll see the calendar icon, the 31. And when you click on it, this is my school calendar. Now just to show you what my school calendar looks like, you see two main colors. Triple booked. <laughs> oh, that's typical. <laughs> um, light blue is me, purple is Leslie, this I don't even know what you call this, lighter purple, is my wife. So, if you look over here, you can see that I have mine checked off. This is my calendar. These are a whole bunch of other calendars that I created last year, uh, like the Math 6-8 department. I'm not doing that. 
but Leslie is purple. If I unclick Leslie right here, hers goes away. Now it's just mine. This is the other calendars. As you see here, I have Jason Thompson, Carla, some teachers. You can search a coworker's calendar. Now, every single coworker in Mahanasin on Google Calendar is automatically set up to public only to Mahanasin. But you have the ability to turn it off and say, you have to ask permission to see my calendar. And even then, you won't see what I'm doing. It'll just say busy. So you have like full control over who sees and does what you do. And I've told this to every administrator multiple times. So it's not like I haven't warned them or told them, but some of them, or some of your colleagues, have that option, option totally open. Like I purposely have my calendar open to the public for everybody. You don't even have to ask permission for access. If you want to see my calendar to see if I'm busy or not, all you need to do is type in add coworker calendar, Bill Vaca. My name will pop up. And I think I had it set up correctly so that <coughs> the sharing permissions are that. But if for some reason it says you have to ask permission to see it, it'll just send me a quick notification saying, hey, do you allow this person to see your calendar? I would then click yes. It would then say, do you want them to see exactly what you're doing or have it show up as busy? I would choose, and then it's done. So I've automatically shared that with all of the brought teachers, but again, for purposes of if you would like to see what I'm doing, if it works to see if what you're doing, if you have an empty block and you see I have nothing there, easy way for you to say, hey Bill, I want this day, this time, come on down, hang out. I really don't have any excuse to say no, but it can also help you out in many other things down the road. Um, yeah. So, what I have on here, is there any other questions about those two hats? No. Timing seems to be pretty good. Slam summary. Then questions, which are kind of done, and then free choice. Slam summary is a quick little thing that I have where I have a little swag bag here. And in here are for some participation uh, points or questions that you feel like you can answer. The first question is, what was your favorite slam and how could you use it in your classroom? Well, I'm going to try the QR generator and try maybe do a scavenger hunt with a computer skills kit. That's awesome. Yeah. You get a free pick out of the swag bag. <laughs> you yep, she already read my brain. You can't look. You got a cool bag tag from Panasonic. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. I was going to say to Mary, um, we have done QR scan hunts at Draper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the good thing about it now is one of the reasons why a lot of us haven't used it in our classroom. But now we will, because don't forget, we have now the bank of iPads that we have. Yes, I was going to say, I'm going to use iPads so that we have in the library. That was one of the yeah. reasons why, yeah. we, because then who could download, who could yeah. Yeah. And and they have the phones, they have the kids. Yeah. And another thing. Um, That's really exciting that you have that. I didn't know yet. So yeah. huge, because another thing that we love to do um, in, in the iPad is not great for it, is we love to use iMovie and mm -hmm. iMovie trailers. but. It, this isn't great for that. So now that's another thing we can probably do more because we have the bank yeah. that we never had. You get a prize out of the swag bag. What is it going to be? So many choices. Oh, you got the best one. Okay. In the swag bag, just to let you know, I am a Nintendo brand ambassador. You should go to my YouTube channel, Mr. Baca. Uh, if you search on YouTube, you'll see my ugly face. Click on it. And we're all the principals. I gave them a little incentive. Whoever has the most subscribers by the end of the school year gets $100. I'm not included, it's just other principals. Of course, Rick is leaving at 41. Um, but I, I need to like pull them all out of the water, so subscribe to me. But Nintendo and I, we have a, a good relationship, and so in this swag bag, there's always gonna be one hidden Nintendo theme. Do you remember the original Nintendo? This is not this is not the old game. This is a hidden flask. Oh. Oh. Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations. Um, and I need one more participant pick. Uh, does anyone else have an app they like that they would use some way, somehow? Go ahead. I like the scanner. The scanner, yes. Awesome. All right, you're the last contestant. There's random stuff. 
Oh, it's a notebook from Panasonic. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> so I um, was very lucky to go to one of these like random tech conferences and I told um, all the distributors that were there, I'm gonna be doing this thing, can I get some free stuff? And they were like, yeah, I don't wanna take it in my car. So I have like golf balls, Panasonic hats, all this ridiculous stuff, but um, thank you again so much. I'd like to, yeah. I just wanna say, if you guys like this, um, there is a guy, but it's like a two hour thing uh, in our capital district, what is that thing called, the newspaper? Yeah. We oh, oh that's like a teacher. His name, I don't know if you've met him yet, but okay. he's phenomenal. His name is Ryan Proper. Except he goes through really high fast. He goes really <laughs> fast, but, and he is the kind of person, kind of like you, that every minute he's going, to, from week to week, he's showing us what was brand new that week. And I have learned more. I take every single one of his classes. It's unbelievable. So if you see his name, try to sign up for that. And them. honestly, that's the reason why I kept referring to Kim. Like, there's so many things that she has taught me because she's learning from, I forget his name again. Ryan Proper. Ryan, Ryan Proper. Shout yeah. out to you, man. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like you. What's that thing called? Yeah. That good. You can sign up. Yeah, and I can't teacher, go this year because I'm going to be away on one of the days, but... That is, it's phenomenal. Everything that I've learned, it somehow sends back to his classes. Sweet, awesome. It's just like this, so, except he spends a little bit more time because he has more time yeah. on each thing. Yeah. So he practices it a little bit, then he moves on to the next one. Right, the, I love it. And um, I'm also, like my goal is to get teachers that are using technology, any technology, to make your life easier. I want to use this as a platform for you to share out what you're doing. Like. You say you have something that you're doing with your Quizlets or anything of that nature, there's gonna be teachers that don't know what they are. And eventually we're going to grow, grow this, I hope. Uh, we're gonna have it once a month and I'm just gonna try and get it to be a homegrown fun thing. Um, yeah, One no, come thing. on, go for it. One more thing too, and you guys, you would need days and days, but if you go to add-ons, that's right in, that they're made for Google Chrome, the add-ons, and you cannot even imagine the apps that you can add on to your computer. And if you find one that is appropriate, the kids can't do it, but if you find one that's really great, like I have one, a uh, Nancy Keeler split screen one where it just, you press a button and it opens up Google Classroom on one side and whatever the kids are working on on the other. So I learned it from that guy, but the add-ons work best for Chromebooks. Um, the Alice Keeler, she has a bunch of great ones. And if you find one, you can call Jamie and say, I want my kids to get this app, and he'll unlock it so they can join it. Yeah, it's very easy. Easy Bib is great. Easy Bib is awesome. Well, I don't think Mary likes it, but <laughs> all that you have to do is put the title of the book in. Because it does not complete. It, it, yeah. it does. You put the title of the book in, the entire bibliography comes out. For the books, but the website does nothing. Some would work, yeah, some it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. The, the Orange Slice, Rubric site is not right there. I just yeah, we just taught it to the ELA people in my meeting. That is unbelievable rubric maker. We had the kids make their own rubrics using that. This is ex that you are literally exactly what I'm talking about. Like you, this is exactly what I do for next time. So much is in there. One, I want to have like three topics for a slam. That would be one, and then maybe another add-on. It could only be Google add-ons. You could do this slam with just Google add-ons okay. and. What I, the last thing I want to say, you don't have to do it. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. For the rest of the day, you're free for me. I don't know how long I have you anyway. But on that site, um, I have a form, and it's totally anonymous. So if you, again, go back here at the top of the text slam, it says text slam feedback form. Take your time. Fill it out. It's totally anonymous. Let me know what I could do better, what you liked, or what you'd like for next time. And then that's it. Have fun. Enjoy. Talk. Play. Do your work, whatever you like. Thank you so much for your help. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Are you going to do like um, non-instructional ones too? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You sh okay. That's like, let me, because yeah. I'll forget, but if you write that down, I can then tell my uppers and say, right. here, oh, this is what. Reports, and like, I mean, there's got to be a million things that. Exactly. If I can say, people are asking for this. Yeah. He likes data, a lot of data. And okay. so this is okay. me, a way for me to say, here's data saying what they are asking for right. and you need to give them what they're asking for. Yeah. Do you know how to do the breakout rooms? I, I put that up. I think.
Because yeah. I asked Ryan Coker to make a class of that. Okay. Because we do mine, we do that. Kids love them. And I would yeah. love to learn about them and figure make. out how to make them on my own. Trust yeah. me. If you give me that challenge, I would, that's like, yeah. Yeah. then we can make our own breakout rooms into videos and then we can get more subscribers across the world. If they want to know what breakout yes. rooms are. Yeah. We buy them off the teacher pay teacher. Yeah. 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 So fun. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Yeah. Gotta get back no to service. No Thank you. Hello, you know, Have like, a good weekend. Like you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's that on the computer. Yeah. So that's they insane. have to get the answers right to get the code, and then, oh. yeah. So it's you mean, you're like small groups that you do in a classroom, that's perfect. Yeah, the day you had to leave, but that's what they did. The, whatever, that breakout room. Michelle goes. Hackett just talked to me about that last week, and I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. And she showed me a site that yeah. was talking about it. If someone's doing a presentation on that today, who is it? Seven minutes? Yeah, yeah, Sarah Bach is doing it. Sarah Bach is doing one of yeah. these on it. What's her last name? Bach. 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 Okay. Science cool. teacher. Very cool. Okay.